Structural engineers play a crucial role in disaster relief efforts. Their expertise in assessing damage, ensuring safety and designing resilient structures is vital in the aftermath of a natural disaster. From the initial response to long-term recovery, structural engineers work alongside other professionals to save lives, reduce suffering and rebuild communities. This video will explore the vital role structural engineers play in disaster relief. We'll discuss how they assess and analyze damage, design and implement safe solutions and build back stronger to promote disaster resilience. Let's dive in. Assessing and analyzing the damage in the immediate aftermath of a disaster. Structural engineers are often called to assess the damage to buildings, bridges and other structures. They use a variety of techniques to evaluate the structural integrity of a building or infrastructure and identify any potential hazards, such as the risk of collapse or the potential for further damage. Engineers may use visual inspections, non-destructive testing methods such as ultrasound or radar, and specialized equipment such as drones or laser scanning technology to gather data on the extent of the damage. They may also use computer-aided design or CAD software to create detailed drones of the structure and simulate the effects of different loading conditions to determine the structure's stability. By accurately assessing the damage to a structure, structural engineers can help prioritize rescue and recovery efforts and ensure that the structure is safe for residents or can be safely demolished if necessary. Designing and implementing safe solutions Structural engineers play a critical role in designing and implementing safe and effective solutions to protect lives and property in the aftermath of a disaster. Using their knowledge of structural materials, construction techniques and seismic design principles, Engineers develop innovative approaches to stabilize damaged structures, strengthen vulnerable buildings and create safe living conditions for displaced individuals. In the immediate aftermath of a disaster, this may involve developing temporary solutions such as the construction of emergency shelters or the reinforcement of damaged roofs to make them safe for occupancy. Structural engineers work closely with contractors, emergency responders and government officials to implement these solutions quickly and efficiently. They may also be involved in the design and construction of more permanent solutions such as the reconstruction of damaged buildings or the retrofitting of vulnerable structures to make them more resistant to future earthquakes. This may involve strengthening existing foundations, adding structural elements such as braces or strengthening the connections between structural members. Throughout the recovery process, structural engineers play a critical role in ensuring that all solutions are safe, cost-effective and meet the specific needs of the community they are designed to serve. Building back stronger, promoting disaster resilience. Structural engineers play a crucial role in promoting disaster resilience by incorporating disaster-resistant features into the design of new structures and the retrofitting of existing ones. By using innovative technologies and materials, structural engineers can create buildings and infrastructure that can withstand the forces of earthquakes, hurricanes and other natural disasters, reducing the damage and saving lives. This includes the development of advanced structural systems that can dissipate the energy of an earthquake or a strong wind as well as the use of materials such as reinforced concrete and steel that can resist the forces of a disaster. Structural engineers also work with policymakers and building officials to develop and enforce building codes that ensure that new construction meets the necessary standards for seismic design and other disaster-resistant features. In addition to their technical expertise, structural engineers also play a critical role in educating the public about the importance of disaster preparedness and the benefits of incorporating disaster-resistant features into building design. By promoting awareness and understanding of these issues, structural engineers can help create more resilient communities that are better prepared to withstand the impact of a disaster. Case studies, real-world examples of structural engineering in disaster relief. The structural engineering profession has a long history of responding to and recovering from disasters. Here are some examples of how structural engineers have made a tangible difference in disaster-stricken areas. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, Structural engineers played a critical role in assessing the damage to buildings and infrastructure. They worked around the clock to evaluate the safety of structures and identify those that were most in need of repair. Using specialized equipment and software, they were able to quickly assess the damage and develop innovative solutions to stabilize the most vulnerable buildings. In the wake of the Haiti earthquake of 2010, structural engineers from around the world responded to the call for help 
They worked in extremely challenging conditions to assess the damage to buildings and infrastructure and to develop solutions for temporary shelters and safe demolition of damaged structures. Despite the limited resources and dangerous conditions, these engineers were able to make a significant impact on the recovery efforts in Haiti. Today, structural engineers continue to play a vital role in disaster relief efforts around the world. From the recent earthquakes in Turkey and Syria to the ongoing recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, these engineers are on the front lines helping to save lives, reduce suffering and rebuild communities. We hope this video has given you a glimpse into the critical role structural engineers play in our society. These professionals are truly the backbone of our communities, working tirelessly to keep us safe and secure. So next time you see a building or infrastructure, take a moment to appreciate the hard work and dedication of the structural engineers who made it possible. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about structural engineering, visit our other videos. Thanks for watching.